So I wasn't going to touch this topic with a 10-foot pole because, uh, you know what? Everybody's pretty crazy about it, but uh, let's talk about the Amiibo, my friends, for Skyward Sword HD. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. It's going to be more of a discussion thing. Uh, we're just kind of hanging out, you know, kicking back, relaxing. No. Um, <laughs> Skyward Sword HD Amiibo, the Zelda and Loftwing Amiibo. First of all, it looks great. It's amazing. I love it. I'm going to get it, hopefully, if scalpers don't eat up all the stock before I can get one. Uh, I'm really excited about it. One of the things that I always told myself is I am going to do my very best to collect every single Zelda amiibo known to mankind, uh, at least to the best of my ability. And uh, hope so far I've been I've been successful. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't stop now. Now, before we jump into the discussion that's getting people all riled up, um, let's let's add fuel to the fire and talk about the price. So the price has actually been revealed because it's uh, been going up on Best Buy and at uh, time of recording just went up on GameStop and by the time you see this, it's probably going to be up on everything else. Um, and uh, yeah, it's $24.99, $25 USD for this amiibo. I think that's probably the most expensive amiibo. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's probably an amiibo that's close to that if, if not. Um, but it's a pretty pricey amiibo, $25. That can get you like like five subs at Subway. I don't know how much subs are at Subway in the US. Do you guys have Subway? Maybe that's a Canadian thing, I don't know. Anyways, um, 25 bucks is a lot of money. Now, if you're in Canada like me, Canada, Canada, home of the Tim Hortons, um, that's probably gonna run you about 30 bucks. Maybe 32, don't know, hopefully not, because $2, that's Toonie Tuesday at, KFC, which I don't recommend eating because it's not good for your heart. It's very greasy. Sorry, KFC, but, you know, I'm going to stick to some kind of, you know, grease-free chicken on that one. Um, <laughs> the point being is, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty penny. It's a lot of money, um, and, and that's going to make people even more angry. Why are people angry, you ask? Well, maybe you don't ask. You just, you already know. Maybe, maybe you're one of those people that are angry and you just want to know, what is this guy, Jay Skeldon, what is he going to say? Is he gonna say, you know, one thing or the other? Well, we're gonna we're gonna maybe find out. But the argument that's going on is basically that apparently people are mad. Some people, not all, all people. Some people are mad because they feel like this is a quality of life, um, you know, improvement feature, whatever you want to call call it, uh, locked behind a paywall. Because what the amiibo does, if you don't know, is you basically scan the amiibo. Anywhere that you are, it'll bring you back to Skyloft. Now, if you've never played the game before, basically, um, well, if you've ever played Majora's Mask, there's owl statues. Similar to that, there's these Loftwing statues in Skyward Sword, and those are kind of like your save points. Um, also, those are the points to get back to Skyloft. You see, Skyloft is kind of like the hometown, like Orden Village from Twilight Princess or, you know, Kakariko, or not Kakariko, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. What the heck is wrong with me? You know, the village. Oh my gosh. Ocarina of Time, uh, Kokiri Forest. What is wrong with me? Why Kakariko, Kokiri Forest? Uh, you know, it's like it's like that starting place, you know, your little hometown. But it's in the sky, because it's at the very, very beginning of the Zelda timeline. You know, before Hyrule was established on, you know, planet Earth. <laughs> so, the whole uh, idea with the game is you, you come to Earth at different, you know, locations. There's like a forest area, desert area, you know, etc. I'm not going to spoil the game for you guys, but that's, the, you know, the basics uh, of the, you know, the idea of the locations of the game. And um, when you're on the ground, of course, sometimes you go back to Skyloft because Skyloft is kind of like the hub, right? It's where you go to get items. It's where you go to do some side quests. Uh, it's where you go to upgrade things because you can upgrade things, um, including your, uh, your, your weapons. Yeah, that's where upgrading weapons first came in and stamina long before Breath of the Wild was even out. Um, so that's kind of where that kind of chimes in. So I guess people feels, feel like, you know, oh, it was kind of tedious to go find a, a Loftwing statue to go back up into Skyloft. And the thing is, too, is if you're in a temple, you can do that also. And if you use the amiibo again, you can go back to wherever you use the amiibo to come back or to come out of. Does that make sense? Like if you left like a specific spot uh, on, on, on Earth, if you will, um, whenever you're done in Skyloft, you can go back to that spot, so, um, again, people are looking at it as, like, it's a quality of life, uh, improvement, um, there's a lot of Loftwing statues as far as my recollection, uh, my, my memories, you know, uh, recalling, um, but, you know, at the same time, they're not, like, 
they're not everywhere. It's not like just simply pushing a button and you could, you know, just push another button and go back the way you could scan in the amiibo. So I get it. In a sense, I do get it. Um, and I'm not, I don't know where I stand, honestly. I know maybe some of you guys are clicking here, maybe to see what my opinion. Uh, this is more of a discussion. I don't know if I have an opinion. I don't know. I love the amiibo and I'm getting, I'm going to try to get it either way. Um, and uh, you know, it's not like, it's not like a massive thing to me. Like it's not, it's not massive where like, you know, I'm upset that it's not part of the game. At the same time, you know, could they have made it part of the game? Sure. But at the same time, that's just not what the game mechanics were. That's not how the game worked. Um, and they're technically breaking the game with the Amiibo. The Amiibo is almost like a cheat code, I guess you could say, right? That's the way I'm looking at it. The Amiibo is like a cheat code that allows you to go back to Skyloft from anywhere instead of having to go to, to a Loftwing statue, right? Um, and for that reason, I don't know if it's a quality of life improvement. Like a quality of life improvement to me, it's like Twilight Princess where, you know, you had to collect less uh, tears, right? In the Twilight Zones, if you guys remember, in the Twilight Princess HD. Um, for example, if there's less, uh, what do you call them? Are they, are they like, they're like orbs or something? Spirit orbs? I don't know. In the Silent Realm in Skyward Sword HD, if there's less of those, that'd be a quality of life improvement. If that was locked behind an amiibo, then you'd be like, okay, that's a little bit weird. Um, but with this specifically, it kind of rides the line for me where I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know because I feel like... On one hand, I get it. I get why people are upset. You know, it'd be nice that, you know, you could do, anyone could do this, right? That it would just be um, a change to the game. On the other hand, I'm looking at it like it's a cheat code. You know what I mean? It's like, it's something that's like not supposed to be part of the game. What's supposed to be part of the game is you're supposed to go to Loftwing statues, you know? So is it really a quality of life improvement? I don't know. Um, I'm kind of on the fence, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, I'm sort of indifferent, uh, to be honest. I'm, I'm like in the middle, which if you're in the middle, you're, you're kind of even more screwed because then you got people on both sides firing arrows at you. And I mean, that's, that's no fun either. So, <laughs> um, you know, the point being is I just don't know. Um, I think that it's, you know, um, the price. Okay. Let's say that, let's talk about the price for a second. The price I understand because it's a pretty, it's a pretty detailed amiibo. I mean, if you look at it, especially the loft wing, there is a lot of detail in the loft wing, right? There's a lot, like they, they got all the feathers and stuff. Like there's a lot going on there. I get it. I get the price. I do. I'm not even mad about the price. I know it's pricey. It kind of sucks that it's, it's 25 bucks as opposed to even 20, you know, five bucks makes a difference. You know, every dollar does. Um, but I'm not mad at it. I, I understand as far as the functionality, Again, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, again, I understand the frustration uh, in a sense. Uh, at the same time, hopefully there's a lot of these Amiibos available. Um, at the same time, you know, I get people don't want to actually spend more money for, for, for this kind of feature. To me, it's like, I'm going to get the Amiibo either way, right? Like, I just I just like the Amiibo as a collectible figurine. Uh, the Amiibo could have absolutely no functionality whatsoever, and I would still buy it because I love the way it looks. I want to collect all the Zelda Amiibo, and it's really, uh, really awesome. Now, I guess maybe there's a small percentage of people that would only want the Amiibo for this functionality specifically. I don't know. I mean, chances are most people that would want to buy the Amiibo are probably going to want to buy the Amiibo either way because it's a great amiibo on well, let's be honest man it's a great amiibo <laughs> you're right um but i don't know it's uh it's kind of a tough one right as far as the functionality goes because like i said i feel like it kind of hugs the line where it's like a rides the line whatever you want to call it where it's kind of like well is it really a quality of life it, you know maybe it's just considered more like a cheat code kind of thing like i i don't know I don't know, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Play nice though, okay? Don't 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 get too heated about it. Uh, play nice. Um, you know, you can you can state your opinion. Obviously, you can discuss it, but uh, you know, obviously, be nice to each other in the comments section. But uh, I'm curious your guys' thoughts. I wanted to kind of just quickly talk about it because. Uh, it's an interesting topic, let's be honest, and whatnot, but one thing's for sure, when the game comes out, we're playing it here on the channel, we're gonna have the live streams and all that, it's gonna be a good time, I hope you guys are gonna tune in for that, because I always enjoy uh, spending some uh, quality time with you guys on uh, on these streams, it's, it's always a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to that, I'm really actually pumped about that, to be honest, so um, kind of make me nostalgic to those Breath of the Wild streams we did at launch when Breath of the Wild came out, and we're gonna be doing that, of, of course, with the sequel of Breath of the Wild and whatever other games come out. Um, 
so yeah i don't know let me know what you guys think again if you want to uh check out all the gaming content that i do um this channel's for nintendo so if you're a nintendo fan you're in the right place if you want to check out my non-nintendo gaming content youtube.com slash skeleton you can join our discord down in the description below and if you want you can follow me at jskeleton92 on twitter but um yeah, I want to I want to hear your guys' thoughts and uh, and all that. But uh, whenever the amiibo go live in Canada, man, I'm snagging one. You know, whether it's thirty bucks or whatever, man, like I'm I'm on it because that amiibo is nice. And I told myself I'm gonna collect every single Zelda amiibo. So whenever it comes out, I'll try to do a quick little like unboxing video for you guys here on the channel. It's probably gonna be a short video because it's not well. I mean, you know, we unbox it and then show off the details and. I guess that's it and show off the functionality i guess in the game real quick uh although the game's coming out the same day so maybe that part will have to wait i don't know we'll see how that works but anyways thanks for watching thanks for tuning in apologize for making this super long and ranty and whatever that was kind of the point it's just to discuss it and kind of rant and talk you know yeah anyways catch you guys soon stay safe stay well and until then my friends game on thanks for watching